Okay, we're going to continue that exercise of uh, learning the notes in the first uh, position. But remember that it's just the alphabet. Now, you, by now you should have memorized the form and the fingerings. And it's just E, F, G, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Now let's start it over and come up to our central note, C. E, F, G, A, B, C. From C, continue that same pattern until you come to C again. C, starting with C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C. So we have C, E, F, G, A, B, C. There's one other thing I want you to get out of this exercise, and that is the names of the strings. As you play each open string, you're assigning a letter name to that string, and that is the tone the string sounds when it's played open. So this is an E, then you go F, G, then A, B, C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C, D, E. It's helpful to know that the top and the bottom strings uh, both sound the tone E. Now, um, back to our whole, whole, half, whole, 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 half pattern. I want you to start from the tone of the open string. In this case, it's E on the sixth string. Remember that the half steps are between E and F and B and C. And with that in mind, we're going to go E. And remember that a half step from an open string is the first fret. A whole step would be E, F sharp would be a whole step. Remember, E to F is a half step to the first fret. Open string to the first fret. Uh, is a half step. So our pattern is whole, whole, half, whole, 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 half if we begin with C. If we begin in the middle of the scale, the way we'll uh, attack that is that remember that the half steps are between E and F and B and C. So we'll go E, our first string, our sixth string is E, to F, half step. G is a whole step. If it's not E and F and B and C, it's a whole step. G to A is a whole step. A to B is a whole step. B to C is one of our half steps. C to D is a whole step. And D to E is a whole step. And we're to the octave on the 12th string. The 12th fret is half of the string and sounds an octave. Let's start with the A string. A. A to B is a whole step, so that's going to be the second fret. B to C is one of our half steps. C to D is a whole step. D to E is a whole step. E to F is one of our half steps. F to G is a whole step. And G to A is a whole step and the octave of the string A. Let's do D. D is the open fourth string. D to E is a whole step. E to F is a half step. F to G is a whole step. G to A is a whole step. A to B is a whole step. B to C is one of our half steps. C to D is a whole step, and D is the octave of our fourth string, D. Let's do G. 
open G. G to A is a whole step. A to B is a whole step. B to C is a whole step. Half step, I'm sorry, it's one of our half steps. B to C. C to D is a whole step. D to E is a whole step. E to F, what's that? It's one of our half steps. F to G is a whole step. And G is the octave of our third string, G. We'll take B. B to C is one of our half steps. C to D, whole step. D to E, whole step. E to F, half step. F to G, whole step. G to A, whole step. A to B, whole step. And B is our octave. E, here we are again. E to F is a half step. F to G is a whole step. G to A is a whole step. A to B is a whole step. B to C is a half step. C to D is a whole step. And, and D to E is a whole step and the octave. There are the natural notes on the neck of the guitar.